Hi students, hope everyone is fine and safe. It gives me immense pleasure to welcome you all to my new video. And today's video is about practical link budget design in unit 1 wireless communication. So this is another important question in this particular unit. And I think the question on the parting of Dina, Poncho Begargo. So listen to the video very carefully so that if you can understand the theoretical part which I'm explaining, you can easily map those theoretical part with the equations so that it will be easier to study. You can see the book. So listen very carefully. Okay, this link budget design. If you look at this, you can see the propagation models. Right? So in the models, it's completely different from the both the models which we see before. Two-ray propagation model and as well as from the free space propagation model. That is completely different. Right? So we will start with this. Practical link budget design. First thing, what is the basic introduction you have to write in this particular question? You have to explain about models. Models are in the first class. Any particular channel models. That is, wire channel models are in the first class. It is very easy to model link. So that we can able to predict the received power and all those things. Wire channel is easier to do, but wireless channel models it is a bit difficult because channel characteristics vary depending upon environment characteristics are monitored for open source. And that is what we are going to see in this introduction. A lot of propagation models have been proposed. We know that in the last class, we have two propagation models. And you can see a lot of propagation models which is Estimating the received power. All propagation model is not going to be received power estimated. And we can classify all these models. Either it can be an analytical method or it will be an empirical method. Right. Empirical methods, analytical methods are not going to be normal. Or graph. Bring any particular graph. It will be you will have something graph. And the graph will be you will get some data. And the graph will be data. If you will have a mathematical expression. Right. Or analytical expression. And the expression on the part of the we can able to easily calculate the measured data. And the, for example, on the expression, if we decide on the part of the part of the they would have taken all the parameters, like propagation parameters, path class parameters, distance. In the money, all model, all parameters, see, it is the, upon the received power, if we calculate from the part of 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 the part. From that particular equation, we can able to obtain a lot of data, right? This is the empirical method and analytical method, okay? But in practical, in the methods, there is a challenge. If you want to design a particular expression, a particular expression or measure data in the distance, in the receipt, in the particular environment, the receiver power calculate for this expression, we can use that particular expression only for that particular environment. And the environment we can use it. Right, and as well as from the point, what frequency we can use, what frequency we can use. If you are going to implement that particular expression in a new environment, if you are going to do a measurement, if you are going to do a measurement, if you are going to receive power or estimate, if you are going to do a measurement, if you are going to do a measurement, we have to add some other data, some other information, some other parameter to that particular expression. So that means accurate results are going to do a measurement. Right, this is the drawback in this analytical and empirical method, but after that, lot of classical methods, many methods on the path of the emerge IRJ, received power I calculate from the thing, right? And if you want to talk about that, I am going to speak about path loss models. Path loss models, if you want to talk about that, we are going to obtain the received power. We are going to obtain the received power, estimate the received power using path loss. Path loss, if you want to talk about the received power, I am going to talk about that, right? By doing this, we can also calculate, in the end of the we can also calculate the signal to noise ratio of the mobile system. Right? Our cell has a particular, you will have the signal to noise ratio, you can update the brief part of the video. Right? And coming to this particular link budget, there is two types of models. There are two models that are proposed. One of the part of the log distance path loss model and log normal shadowing model. Right? Log distance path loss model and log normal shadowing model. As I said in the introduction of this particular video, one of the careful results are done. Right? Now, some of the information stories are done and you can map the map and the expression is easy to see. Right? So, first we will see log distance path loss model. 
Right, as we said before, any particular propagation model. If you look at all propagation models, what do you do? Received power is calculated. Right? PR, received power is calculated. And the received power, it is related to the distance. What do you say? Distance only increase or increase. Uh, received power decrease. Right? Longer than bigger, they decrease. Right? And now, we are going to see path loss model. Path loss model, what do you say? Path loss equation. What do you say? This is the normal path loss equation. This is the normal path loss equation. Equation, right? And from this path loss equation, we can able to obtain the received power. Update so long. If we are being putting up in a, or a transmitter, other received power calculate for no update putting up in a, like you know, transmitter power then you say, and other than the one the putting up in a path loss, you know, then you say, but path loss is subtract for now, we can able to obtain the received power, right? So, from by using this particular path loss model. We can able to estimate the received power. Then so on, right? This is the normal expression for path loss model, right? Path loss is an expression that we have PL of d received d by d naught. Then so on. That the same expression d d express for us is expressed for us. Then so on. And similarly, I have already said what is d and what is d naught. First model is so on. Then so on. D is the PR separation, right? For a transmitter or receiver, no more. A complete separation, अदर complete distance उन्हें ना सोल्व होगी ना d इन सोल्व हो, and d not अभी इधर देना भी पड़ती है ना, it is a reference distance, that is closer reference distance अभी इन सोल्व हो, okay वाह, उरे reference distance अंदर d ये वाला, आदि closer आए रखना, अदर transmitter closer आए रखना, distance ना वो reference distance उन्हें ना सोल्व ना d not अभी इन सोल्व हो, okay, so this is about path loss expression, and from this expression, in the expression है ना, है ना अभी पड़ती है अभी ना, you can D is nothing but DR separation and D naught is the time reference distance. That is reference distance and DM is nothing but path loss component, right? This we can able to obtain the same power calculate for now, but this in this particular expression N is very very important. Path loss component is very very important. The path loss component is constant and it will keep on varying. For example, free space for the two are gone. Right, free space propagation and the end of abstraction is not a if you look at that, you can see the expression on the path. It's very small. That is, n on the path, n value on the path, n value on the path. If there is a lot of abstractions, abstractions are in the path, n value will be more. And another important thing, the model is more important thing. We should be very smart in selecting this particular reference distance. The reference distance on the path, it plays a very vital role in determining the path loss. Right, the reference distance is very complicated. Now, it is also very, right? It will also vary depending upon the cellular system. Right, if it is a larger cellular system, right? Larger cellular system, I am going to check it. Now, the value will be around 10 kilometers. 10 kilometers are the linear value, right? 10 kilometers. And our other very distance are there. If it is a smaller cellular system, right? Smaller cellular cellular system, I am going to check it. It will vary from 10 meter. To one meter, one meter and ten meters will be required, right? So this distance is also very very important in calculating the received power. Okay, so you can see here the path loss component. One more environment to go, the path loss component. You put it very high there. Up into the power, right? Now free space for two, and for urban cellular radio, it is two point seven to three point five, and for shadowed urban cellular radio, three to five, right? And building line of sight. 1.6 to 1.8, and obstacle in building 4 to 6, and obstacle in factories 2 to 3. Right? So, this is about path loss model. If you want to see the path loss, if you want to see the path loss, if you want to see the power calculate, you can see the power calculate. If you want to see the receive power, distance will decrease the idea. Right? If you want to see the normal path loss expression, what is very important? There are two points. N value and D value is very, very important. Closest reference is the D naught value is very important. What is it? The N will also vary and also D naught will also vary. What is it? Very simple as explanation. Okay. And the second model that I have been talking about is log normal shadowing model. Right. Log normal shadowing model. In the end of the day, what they have said is by using path loss model. Path loss model is used for me. Now we receive power. क्या क्या पंडु मॉडलिंग पाती है ना आज उन दे पाती कभी ना इट 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 विल नॉट बी वेरी अक्यूरेट अपडेट सोल्व लगे ये अपडेट पाती कभी ना द पैथ क्लास अकॉर्डिंग टू लॉग नॉर्मल शेडोइंग दिस मॉडल सेज दैट पैथ क्लास विल कांस्टेंटली वेरी पैथ क्लास वंदे पाती कभी ना कांस्टेंट आए रिकार्डे डिपेंडिंग अपॉन वेरियस फैक्टर्स वंदे वेरी आ 
in the signal value that is if the received signal level below the threshold da irukku abindradha in the particular parameter in the particular image so estimate panna mudiyum right so ipo na enna na solirken appdi paathinga appdi na i have explained what is path loss model path loss oda introduction enna appdi solirken path loss model edukaga porom appdi solirken matha empirical models and and path loss model kula difference enna na solirken right and long distance model la enna la pannirukanga adu epdi la vandu determine pannalam right and what is the impact of n and as well as d not appdi solirken and i have explained the importance of long normal shadowing adu enna pannirukku appadina environment pattava edu pannirukanga appdi solren and apart from that enna pannirukku appdi paathinga appadina we have also said that the see the signal value threshold exceed aagala illa exceed aagala abindradhukku rendu expression use panni q function use panni calculate panna mudiyum appdi solirken right and it also explains about the shadowing effect in various environment depending upon the clutter appdi solirken okay so idu padikumbodhu namakku konjam vega irukum but using this particular theoretical concepts in the expression so it's easy to understand right hope you understand it and it will be very easy for you okay thank you thank you students thank you for watching கண்டிப்பாக இந்த வீடியோ உங்களுக்கு எல்லாருக்கும் ரொம்ப யூஸ்ஃபுல்லாக இருக்கும் நம்புகிறேன் சப்ஸ்கிரைப் பேஷனேட் ப்ரொஃபஸர் அண்ட் கீப் லேர்னிங் தேங்க்ய